Damn, your silhouette looks dope. How's my voice? It sounds better, right? Oh, you're carrying a battery? <laughs> I would have got that for you. I'm independent. Independent? Do you hear the battery acid? Yes. My car's filthy. We need some quick detail if we're taking rollers. Some quick detail? Nah, we're taking dirty rollers. No! Hell yeah. That's you better drive slow the on the highway, way. girl. Well, yeah, we're moving Callie's car today and probably taking the freaking loft down. Josh is getting the box truck and he confirmed that it does have lift gates. So getting the engines in will be no problem. Wait, Frank. wait, how are they going to know the battery's not? Fuck. <laughs> Hurry up. Do you like my shirt? This is the double XL. Doesn't it fit? Well, this was the only size left, and Callie was like, I want that shirt, so she got that shirt. I literally paid a $5 upcharge because it's so big. But it's not even that big. <laughs> Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> no, stop. <laughs> My voice is still kind of fucked. Uh, I could do that really good though. I'm about to start walk working. I'm about to start working at Haunted Graveyard Lake Compounds. Run up on people. Uh, okay, that's enough of that. I'm just sitting here waiting for Callie to get the jack handle. I hate these fucking hatches, they're so heavy. Give it a, give it a slam, Callie. Just drop it from right there. Pick it up. Okay, we're good. So much freaking Bondo dust just came up. I know. Till the next trip, then. Who is he? <laughs> Who is he? I've never seen him. There's a cop behind me. There's a cop behind me right now, but I mean, I'm registered, so we're good. All we gotta go do is go left. I'm just gonna pull up super close to her uh, before we get on the highway. If anything, I hope I get pulled over and not her. We're good. <laughs> the cop looked because Callie freaking chirped the tires in front of him. But uh, we're good. We're going on the highway now. Scraped. Oh, I could see some. I could see some sticks dragging. Oh my god! What a freaking scary moment that was. I was like, I'm about to get pulled over. No, the cop was behind me. It was a North North Haven cop. My car comes out at fifth. Huh? My car comes out at fifth. Yeah, it's normal. It's a D. It is. You have a CDO one. Like, I'll put it in fifth and it'll go. And if I let off the gas in fifth, it comes out of fifth and into neutral. Yeah, mine used to do that. It kind of just went away. Fifth Maybe gear pop outs are kind of normal. Driven. Huh? Maybe it just needs to be driven. Probably. This thing's so fast compared to my Subaru. I'm like, dang, I'm doing 80 right now. And you I'm weren't even it. on it. You were like quarter throttle. I was doing 80 though. Yeah, but I'm saying you were like quarter throttle. Oh, I was no. like, is she going to get on it or no? No. All you were doing was like driving in like a low gear. Well, because I was nervous. Well, you know, let's check out the tire. How's that fender look? Mm. Good. Not awful. No, it's not the worst. It we smelled way. It smelled way worse on the highway. Really? It smelled like you were doing a burnout. I still have a tick. Out. I could hear it when it would stop. I have a lifter tick. Well, not a lifter tick, I guess. And I freaking no, missed. No, that's your freaking. That's your flex pipes, Callie. Oh, you're right. I always do that. Yeah. It's like they're fucked. It's here though. Thank God. It's the scariest moment of my life. Yeah, you're good though. Pat, what, were there two cops? Did one, one go left? No, one. But you chirped the tire in front of him, and he looked dead at you. But he just kept going straight. Obviously, he looked at me. Like, hard. He was like... Really? Oh, my God. That was pretty... Like, what are the odds? 
Well, Whatever. you got it here it's safely. Here. It's here. That's it. Look at it's that. All that matters. Boy. Hello. You. It's a fucking thick ass box truck, or should I say loft truck? This is an empty freaking shop here. And then there was one. Why is my Z always the last one left? Should I take it? No. It's cold. Hell yeah. Freaking. I got, <coughs> I got one strap. I have those same freaking straps right there, but they're at the new shop in the. Er, no, wait, no, they're in the fucking van, dude. The van's right there. I got, I got straps. Alright, where am I? I forgot. I thought everything was at the new shop. Look at Cali. All right, sorry for the sporadic updates, but I hope you guys can understand that that one's just gonna put in the truck Hope you guys can understand we're doing a bunch of shit right now The loft is like empty besides the fridge, which is gonna be kind of a bitch. I can't wait to tip it over and then start it but um <laughs> Throw it back all the lights are down They're all right here. Just gotta take this last extension cord thing right here out um, slide these extension cords through. One of the two outlets in this entire shop. Okay, we're down to the skeleton. Now, we're gonna do stairs first. And then this doubled up board right here that goes all the way across that has to come out. And then we can undo the joists on that side, just from from the actual metal part of the joist. So they'll just kind of be sitting in there. And then we'll undo these, and then we can just lift them straight up and out of there. And uh, then we just have to do the main square, and then we're good. Okay, so we have that tied around it, right? So when, and this right here, kind of like bracing it. I mean, I know it's gonna slide out, but theoretically when this comes out, It'll pop out and go that way a little bit, but it shouldn't fall all the way, so I guess we're going to see how this plays out. So this is perfect. The door will still close. All the beams will fit right here. Um, yeah, so all the beams are going to go this way, then all the plywood next to it, and whatever else we could fit, we could fit, and that's it freaking loaded up and the fuck out of here besides the cars which I gotta figure out boom this is how we're leaving it for homeboy now that would already take away so much work you'd have to do to make another loft but I think now that 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 thing is just kind of holding those two it's kind of sketchy so yeah all right, now we can get all three of these poles down. Just these freaking 14s, two on each. That one I already got. And uh, then it's just these two wall boards and the loft is officially freaking down. All right, well, as you can see, the loft is deconstructed, you know? Sorry, Haggard, before I knew them, I gotta fucking get rid of this thing. Like, I don't want this fucking shield shit. There's no use for it for me. So I'm chopping this shit right the hell off. Yeah, fuck yeah. Frick yeah, heck yeah, boy. Get out of here. Jesus Christ. The amount of what the fuck attached to this thing is wild. I'm gonna keep this light though. I bet you they're just 10 mils holding it on. Oh, nope, nope, they welded south tappers to it. Is this what you guys like? All right, you want me to fucking start doing this shit? <laughs> God damn. You guys complain about my engineering. So, all we really have left to take is a bunch of small stuff that'll fit in the van. The two bikes are the biggest thing. And then like the TV and stuff, that's gonna go in my car eventually. But other than that, it's looking pretty damn good. Keep my damn loft, my freaking loft. Fuck. I still feel like fucking ass, but 
Yeah, there's not there's not too much more to take, but we're gonna go fucking grab some food and head to the new shop location because your boys. I'm gonna take this home with me actually, so I don't fucking forget. I'll put this in my car. All right, I'll be back to talk you in and take you home. Just had some Burger King. Your boy needs to get some fucking meds, dude. I need some damn throat numbing stuff. Got the spray and I got coffee drops. I ain't trying to fucking die tonight, boys. Got lofts to build tomorrow, possibly, hopefully. We're out here dropping, fucking dropping everything right here. If I'm not dying tomorrow, <clears throat> if I'm not. Eh, I literally can't even talk, dude. But if I'm not dying tomorrow, I'll come through here and fucking bug out on this. I took six of those. Those poles. Nice. So I don't. I don't know if we're actually gonna need them, but do you think we could just go to the fucking studs? Hopefully. We'll find out. Because I know the back of one we can obviously go to the studs, and that's the one that has the the joists on it. Well, we, you got enough wood to make a beam, so we can go stud to stud, and then yeah, just go this way. With the... Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. I gotta do some serious organizing when I get there, when I get all in here. Just gotta freaking store as much as I can up here. And I'll probably end up putting the cars this way because it's longer than it is wide. Okay, now we're good. <sighs> Shit. Only thing we have left now is those freaking 16 foot things, and then we're we're meant here. It'd be so dope if this was like 16 foot. Yeah. Because you literally could just go from here to here and just fucking studs. It's like 19 foot. 19? Which is odd. Yeah. Okay, well, my camera died, but I have a good phone, so. Oh, uh, wow. The wide, with, with no wide angle, this looks so bad. I'm so far away from it, and I could barely see the whole garage door. There we go. So, I'll come here tomorrow and uh, start with the assembling the freaking loft and we can move the rest of the stuff down here ronnie thank you very much yeah for the thank you for, for lifting the Got beams it. yeah i'm literally dying right now <laughs> dude got a downpipe and a bunch of shit done to this hell yeah boy yeah guys this is josh's fucking industrial work i don't want to hear shit about my fucking railings all right <laughs> my railings are the goodest freaking railings so we stopped here to freaking hose ourselves off, freaking dust. I'm recording on my phone, so I'm sorry. Yeah, same. Is there another bathroom? There is. There's. Uh... Hey, oh, what the fuck? I just realized my dude. I'm using my camera. What the fuck? It turned I... back on. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. All right, so we're at Josh's work right now, bugging out. We had to drop the truck off and uh, hose off. I was using my phone, but now my camera turned back on. I don't know, but these dudes have mad ACs and shit. You'll hit them up for installs. <laughs> they have sand sandblasting cabinets. Josh got that new new downpipe and shit. You got a tune too, right? <laughs> Sounds good. I just hate how slow these things rev down. It's like a, it's like the Evos. Oh god, guys, what a day. Well, I'm gonna make this quick because I don't want my camera to die again. Sorry about those couple iPhone clips, but I gotta, I gotta throw them in. Um, got a shit ton done today. Oh shit, Josh left his stuff. It's okay, he'll be back soon. Um, everything else, like I said, will fit in the van slash uh, my car. All the delicate stuff will go in my Subi. Fold the seats down, we could put a couple other big things there. You know, welder, stuff like that. All we got left is the freaking bikes. Ryan, if you're watching this dude, you gotta come get this table. Gotta come get it ASAP. Um, broom, this table, that'll fit in the van along with the bikes. You guys get the deal. We did a lot of work today. Uh, I can't apologize enough for like these wonky videos, guys. I, 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 I'm sorry. I just, it's a necessity. Like I have to do this stuff. I have to get shit done. If I didn't have to do this, absolutely have to do this, I wouldn't be working today because as you can tell, I'll leave in a couple of the like clips of me like really like fucking up on camera and trying not to uh to die i'm not exaggerating like every time i cough like that 
I get this crazy like pressure in my my head. It sucks, dude. I, I knew the second it was warm one day, I was like, oh man, I'm gonna be fucked. Like later on this week, allergies get me good. I gotta overdose on some damn vitamin C. But anyways, like I said, we got a lot done. It really pains me to see this shit, but we'll make the new shop work. I'm I'm looking forward to to turning the new shop into like a permanent shop. You know, I can always afford 300 bucks no matter what I'm doing. So that's that's good for me. Oh man. You can see where we painted over there. We just didn't lift up the carpet and we just painted because it was behind the couch and we didn't see it. But I'll see you guys next time. Again, peace out. See you next time. Au revoir. Peace.